morning we are feeding our caterpillars. Um, this one's probably about a week old. And what we do with all of these containers you see here is we put fresh milkweed in it and then we dump out the um, caterpillar poop, if you will. Uh, so we always give them fresh milkweed. Um, that's essential. That's the only host plant that caterpillar, monarch caterpillars have. Um, so we need to put some form of milkweed species in there, whether that's gonna be common milkweed or butterfly milkweed, world milkweed, any of them would work, but we are using common milkweed since it's the biggest weed. So here we have one of our um, caterpillars that's turned into a chrysalis. So what happens is that they'll make a web up at the top here and they'll hang from it in a J. So some of these guys down here are in J's at the moment. You can kind of see what he does that. And then after that, they'll be like that for a couple, like two days and then they'll form this chrysalis. So what we do is we take the chrysalis out of the container and we will attach it to this tree so that when the butterfly does emerge, it will have more space to dry its wings and then it will have space also to fly around if it needs to. So there's this webbing around the chrysalis. What we do is we take a toothpick and we kind of scrape the webbing off. So then I have the chrysalis and I have this silk and what we'll do is we'll use this silk to glue the chrysalis onto the tree. So now we're just gonna, Bree's gonna put some glue on there, on the tree. And then we just take this guy and we attach the silk part of the chrysalis to the glue. So once the butterfly emerges, the wings come out kind of crumpled. So what they'll do is they'll just hang on the, um, kind of like the shell of their chrysalis and they will inflate their wings and that process takes a while. So they'll just kind of hang out here inflating their wings and the wings will just kind of grow and grow and then once they're nice and dry um, they can actually start using them for flight. So.